How's it going everybody? Rye Rat here today and we are here with some NHL 18 content for you guys. And the reason you clicked on this one is because we're going to be checking out the 32 team expansion draft. Now first of all, we're going to go for 10 likes on this video so make sure to toe drag right around that dislike button and snipe that like button. Make sure to also light the lamp as you hit the subscribe button because we got a lot of great NHL 18 content coming up for you boys. But let's go ahead and check out, I'm going to give you guys a first look at the 32 team expansion draft. Now, you're going to have to create a team because I haven't created one uh, off offline here. But we're just going to be the Bernie, Burnaby NHL 32 team because I could really care less what we are. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool that you get to create your roster. There's also, I, th I think I saw there was a way to create an AHL affiliate. Uh, so we're just going to go uh, GM32. That's uh, okay. We're going to go with GM, Rye, and then a lot of E's. All right, perfect. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so we want to be the Burnaby NHL 32. Uh, there's the budget. Obviously, everything is back. Franchise uh, franchise mode is back, so, but you can turn it off, I believe. Um, uh, I'm not going to customize the AHL team. That's what I was talking about there, though, guys. Sorry I'm talking fast. I'm just very, very excited. So let's check this out. You can still have owner mode on or off, so you can turn off revenue, relocation, goals, firing, and promotions. You can just straight up turn off firing, salary cap, obviously. Uh, CPU trades, assistant coach, editing lines, the auto signs, the automatic accept relocation, morale, morale meetings. Okay, this setting allows you to manage your mor players' morale and team chemistry. So maybe if I turn off morale, there's not going to be any kind of morale. I'm going to check that out. I'm actually going to turn off player morale right now, and we'll go ahead and check that out um, when we get in there, if there's any sort of morale, because that'll be a, a double whammy for you guys. But, yep, let's go ahead and start the career with the Burnaby NHL 32 going to keep salary cap on and we'll go become the 32nd NHL team uh, and do another expansion draft. Now, I have seen this mode a little bit. Uh, what you do, uh, you'll see it here in a second, so I won't spoil the video for you guys, uh, but obviously we have need to conduct the expansion draft. Uh, it's got to protect all the players. Now, what you can do, there's also an option for you to um, if, if, if redo the expansion draft uh, as the Knights, or you can redo the expansion draft Say I want to be the Buffalo Sabres, I can protect Will Carrier and expose like a guy like Tyler Ennis instead, who we didn't uh, expose and we protected him. So, you know, you can just change the destination. Obviously, this is the first time I'm logging into it, so it's giving me the franchise tab. But it's a nice new layout this year. I'm actually very happy about the nice new expansion. Um, you can open a franchise overview by clicking again, clicking the right stick. Uh, there's something that requires attention, but I'm not going to go... Ah, uh, yes, it's the uh, arena level happiness. That's whatever. Um, I'm, I'm not going to bother dealing with that because you guys want to see the expansion draft. So let's go ahead and get right up into the NHL expansion draft. Salary cap is $75 million and the draft lottery. So this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, they redo the draft lottery. So Nolan Patrick could go to the Colorado Avalanche, boys. Um... We have the third pick as Burnaby. Vancouver still gets shafted at number four. Dallas now moves up from three to two. Um, you know, and most of the re most of the rest of the uh, draft is the same here. But yeah, it's gonna change everything. I was kind of hoping that they would let Nolan Patrick and whatnot stay on their rosters because you've got a whole bunch of rookies that are gonna be completely brand new and some rookies that aren't even gonna be in the game. For example, Buffalo drafted Casey Middlestat, but Casey Middlestat went back to college, so he's not even gonna be in the game. So that's kind of disappointing that you can't get some of these teams, uh, college players, but that's no big deal. Let's go ahead and go right into the expansion draft, boys. Enough talking, enough dilly-dallying, but yeah, let's go ahead and I will show you the expansion draft. You got to make a pick. You can auto-generate the picks. Let me show you guys what it looks like here. So here, who, here is who um, the, uh, the Anaheim Ducks have exposed. They've exposed Sammy Votnin. Now that's pretty much an easy pick for me unless they... Uh, Unless they took a goalie, they also changed those menus. Yeah, those goalies. I don't want any of those goalies. So we'll go ahead and take. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and take not Manson, uh, but Sammy Votten, and he's a pretty good top four defenseman. I know 83 overall looks a little bit scary to you guys, but um, I'll post a link down in the description. They did um, update the ratings. If you guys didn't see that, they have specific ratings. So like an, I think an 83 to an 85 or 86 defenseman is a top four defenseman. But we'll go ahead and take him. Uh, just because as far as Arizona, we'll see who they exposed and whatnot. I won't do the entire draft. Uh, Burmistrov, that's not bad. We can sort by age and everything. Of course, it goes by oldest first, but yeah, they don't really have a ton of tremendous players that they've exposed. So let's go ahead and see if they've exposed uh, Antti Ranta. Probably not, but there's Chad Johnson or Deming. So not t tremendous goaltenders. 
But yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, why not? I'll just go ahead and take Burmistrov just because he seems like a decent top nine forward. I'll just go over to Buffalo just because I know the Sabres. I'm a Sabres fan. Uh, Zach Bogosian's not bad, but his contract is terrible, so I want to stay away from that. Uh, this is what they've exposed. Matt Molson, Tyler Ennis. So a lot of different players here that they've exposed. Will Carrier is not uh, an option who uh, actually uh, Vegas did take. So Linus Ulmark here. They did expose Linus Allmark. He's medium backup. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to take him. Uh, and then I'm just going to auto-generate the rest of the picks, boys, because uh, you guys basically get the gist of things. Um, uh, auto-generate the picks. Perfect. And there we go. So Matt Valeski, Poirier, uh, Cam Ward. We're taking Cam Ward. Marcus Kruger, Carl Soderberg, uh, McKenzie. So, yeah, this seems like a pretty decent team. You guys can spend more time on Alec Martinez. is probably going to be our best player. Uh, but you guys can spend more time individually when it comes out. Matias Ekholm is actually coming, boys. So that's a really good pickup in the expansion draft. I'm actually happy about that. Clark MacArthur. Michael Neuverth is another def uh, goalie, another defender in uh, Ian Cole. Uh, Joel Ward, not bad. So, yeah. Took Connor Carrick from the Leafs. We, and then there's Tyler Myers. So, not bad. You can scroll with the right stick here at the bottom, boys. Left wingers picked. There we go. There's our centers. So, our center depth is pretty bad, but that's not. you're not going to have a great team coming out of the expansion draft. There are our right wings. So, pretty thin at the right wing, but left wings are good. And we got a lot and a lot, a lot of defensemen. Uh, and then we took, like, six goaltenders, which is not bad, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah, we'll just go ahead and finish the draft here. We uh, That's the nice thing is that if I made a mistake and I'm like, oh, shoot, I, I want a different goalie or I want one less goalie and want one more winger, after it auto-generated, it doesn't automatically say, well, you're screwed. It does allow you to go ahead and go back and change it. You have to hit finish draft uh, before you actually um, get to pick. So we'll go ahead and, and sim to draft here, boys. Uh, it's kind of nice that they have a team leader in points again that was been miss that's been missing pro scout calling. Uh, I've heard there's an option to turn off your pro scout notification. Oh, so I, I can still I was moving around boys while it was waiting for the NHL entry draft, so that was actually pretty cool. Uh, but I think there might be a way to settings. I might I'm, I'll worry about that later, boys. But uh, we'll go ahead and start the draft. The quick links are still over here. You can go right to points here. Here's the playoffs. These might be... Oh, this is the Stat Central. That's co kind of cool that Stat Central's there. And then if I click on... Um, if I click on uh, Alec Martinez, because he's our team leader in points, I wonder where it takes me. I wonder if it takes me directly to my team's points. It also takes me to Stat Central. So now you got two different ways to head to Stat Central, which isn't bad. Um, but yeah, once it loads here, we'll go ahead and do the NHL entry draft. I'll go ahead and show you guys some top prospects and what their ratings are, because you, you don't have any option to scout... Uh, so we'll just go ahead and advance to our user picks, see who went. Nico Hiche, now it's nice because it shows you their uh, potential, their what kind of player they are, what their position is, and now it's, they show you their overall right underneath the player. So as you can see, Hiche got a uh, Hichier, I don't know how you say his name exactly, but 78. Nolan Patrick got a 77. So that leaves Miro Heiskin in, who actually went third overall um, to us if we want. But we can go ahead and check. Yeah, I think Miro Heiskin in here, he's listed as... Uh, High elite, I think that means he's going to be uh, uh, high top four, either medium or high top four, but yeah, we can go ahead and check on him there. Stuart Skinner's down there as well if he wanted a goalie, but he's 17 years old, the defenseman. Emil Peterson, uh, Cal Foots, exact elite, so we know we got an elite defenseman there. He could be low elite. We got Owen Tippett here as well. Uh, Yamamoto here is medium elite. Uh, Emil Peterson is also high elite, but that's probably not exact. Uh, I, I doubt he's going to be listed as franchise or anything. So we'll go ahead and take Miro Heiskin in and just take him because he was listed um, as the number three pick in to the Dallas Stars in real life. But he is medium elite, but he's only 69 overall. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'll go ahead here. Who do the Vancouver Canucks take? They take Anderson here. Medium top six, 70 overall sniper. Uh, Sim pick the Vegas Golden Knights. Get Emil Peterson, 67 at medium elite. Uh, Connor Glass here, top six at 66 overall. Uh, Eric Brandstrom, medium top four defenseman to the New Jersey Devils. The Buffalo Sabres take Cal Foote, so he is medium elite, but he's 63 overall. So we did make the best choice as far as defensemen are concerned so far. Uh, overall for defensemen, I think is actually pretty low, so 69 is pretty decent. He's going to take a year or two to develop. He may, he's probably not NHL ready, but there's Yamamoto. Remember, he was listed as medium elite potential. 
but he ended up as top six forward, medium top six forward potential there, guys. So uh, 63 overall, not bad. We'll go ahead and just get through top 10. They took Busek, okay. Uh, high top high top six is actually pretty good. There goes Velarde to the Kings, which I believe he did in real life. Still waiting to see Owen Tippett go. There's Owen Tippett, 61 overall, top six forward. Vegas' second pick they take, yep, medium top six, and that looks like that looks like that. There's uh, Rasmussen, 66 overall, medium top six. But we'll go ahead and sim to the next user pick so I don't have to keep going pick by pick. Uh, we now have pick number three still, so that looks like it's going to stay. I can just scroll through quickly. Feel free to pause the video on any of these people. There's Stuart Skinner, the top goalie, 62 medium starter, not bad. Um, but where did Uko Pekka Lukanen is medium elite? Uh, I know he got drafted by the Sabres in the third round. So medium elite, 60 overall, pretty good for a third round pick. Uh, Antoine Morand is a medium top nine. Uh, Cole Lind is low top six yet again, boys. Uh, I'm trying to find out where uh, Timothy Lilligren went, or did he not go? Did Timothy Lilligren not go? Interesting. He did. He dropped here as well. So maybe we can go ahead and take Lilligren to find out just what his overall and potential are going to be. But yeah, that's not... I mean, I didn't see him on the board, so yeah, there's Timothy Lilligren. There's Yoka Harju and Lilligren, so I'm, I'm thinking I might just take Lilligren just to show you guys, because I know a lot of you Leafs fans are going to want to know. There's uh, Maxime Comtois down there at high elite, but we're going to take Lily Green, just bolster up that defensive core. Um, yeah, and it's not as, it's kind of slow. My news, <laughs> you guys are probably seeing that. Low elite for Timothy Lily Green, uh, but he's 66 overall, so he's just about as good as uh, uh, Miro Heiskanen, but his overall is not quite as good, nor is his potential, so he's a decent second round pickup. Uh, we'll sim to our next user pick, check out where some of those players went, and here's a trade offer. So they want our fourth round pick for their fourth and a fifth. I'm going to accept that trade just so I can get another pick in the draft. I mean, that's kind of cool that they came up to me and offered a draft a draft pick without me even offering. And there's Joka Harju, boys. So he's medium top six, quite worse than Timothy Lilligren, 59 overall. So he's going to take a while uh, to grow. Maxime Comtois there is low top six at 60 overall. We'll keep scrolling. If you guys find anybody that you want to see, I know Cal fleury has been a guy that's gone in the past. Um... Nobody else here looks too... There's Di Pietro. He's 58 overall medium starter, so that's not bad. Uh, there's Lindstrom, who the Sabres took. Yeah, Phillips. Doesn't matter. But yeah, it's weird because like uh, the Leafs won't have Lilligren. And I now have Lilligren, which is uh, kind of weird to see. But I'll make one more pick, boys. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft and see what our uh, roster looks like and just what the rest of the mode is going to be looking like. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time debating on this pick. Uh, we'll sort by potential again. I, it's kind of weird how they just kind of throw potentials in your face. Um, okay, so exact, I guess, doesn't pop up to the top anymore. There's, uh, okay, yeah, it's unknown now, so you can't scroll. So they will put exact whatever along with um, the kind of iffy picks. So he's going to be a top nine left winger. Um, but for uh, we are in the third round, right, boys? There we go. So this, Marlowe might be a top six forward based on what his, um, his, uh, his projected round and his projected potential, but I'll just sort, sort by round really quickly. Um, backup. Okay, so we got a couple backups here. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, medium uh, top nine sniper, left winger, uh, Jolly here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the right winger just because we need one. So I'll just go ahead and take him anyway. Uh, we'll see what he is. He's medium bottom six, so that's not tremendous, but we'll just go ahead and simulate the entire draft, and we'll go ahead and get to the start of next season so we can see the roster and we can see the, um, just see what the uh, schedule looks like, what division we were placed in. I think it places you in the empty division. Oh, and there's the re-sign phase, boys, so if I took anybody, I forgot to mention this, if I took anybody who's on an expiring contract, um... I need to re-sign them. Like Linus Allmark is an RFA, so I need to re-sign him. Uh, but there are some players here. Cam Ward is expiring, so he might not want to come back. We'll go ahead. I'll show you guys. Um, and I know you guys know about the uh, the uh, seventy-five or the eighty-five percent glitch. So we'll go to all expiring here. So I, it looks like um, Burmistrov and Hodges are the only two. So I'll offer a contract to Burmistrov. He, oh, so he's still on an entry-level deal. So I'll give him. I'll give him 925 for three years. I'm okay with that. Uh, and then Hodges here. I'm going to offer him a contract. Doesn't really matter what I give him. Kind of bad examples there to show you, but here we go. Uh, okay, Linus Allmark, main roster. Oh, so yeah, we just have to... Wow, I did, the computer did a good job of drafting players that aren't going aren't gonna to be expiring contracts anytime soon. But yeah, so 
I can't show you guys any kind of re-signing glitch or anything. I'll have to try that out. I'll post another video on redrafting the Vegas Golden Knights, and maybe we will have to re-sign some players there, and we'll see what the uh, the, the glitch... If it, uh, I guess it's not a glitch. It's a trick, almost. So we'll just go ahead and advance the day. Sometimes players I've heard don't want to come to your team if you're an expansion draft team. Um, oh, he's not really offered in two-way offers at this time. Accepted, accepted. Okay, so yeah, if if I um, go to contracts, and I'll, I'll try and give that guy a one-way contract. I know that's totally unrealistic and not something you would ever want to do on someone who's still uh, eligible for a two-way deal. But uh, Burmistrov here, I'll offer him a contract. Uh, he's interested in a, a two-way a two contract, but you know I'll just give him exactly what he wants. 925 for one year. Doesn't matter. We still have a lot of cap space, though. 14 million. I'll go ahead and sim to free agency here, boys, in just a second. I'll just actually sim now because we don't need to worry about whether or not he's going to answer us or not. Uh, he accepted our offer, which is kind of nice. It's weird to see the EA Sports thing up there because I'm used to that being a rejection, but that's just our logo because I didn't spend the time uh, creating, a, creating a logo because I just wanted to show you guys the content right away. But we'll see what free agents hit the market in this universe. Uh, Nino Niederreiter, Ker uh, Sh Ke Kevin Shattenkirk, again, the top the top free agent in 83 overall. Again, it looks low, boys, but um, that's just because he is, you know, that's just because he's, He's, he has a top four forward and, like I said, or top four defenseman. And, you know, let's go ahead and try and give him 5-2-5 um, five, five for his two-year wanting. We'll see if that's enough to get him. And then we'll go ahead and check out uh, all goalies available. I do notice some RFAs here, so it doesn't necessarily matter if I go after them. Grubauer is there. He's got medium starter potential, which is a nice bump for him. He's 82, so he could even grow a little bit, but he'll be a low-end starter for anybody that wants uh, him uh, in year one. You might be able to get him. You might not. It may. I've seen different um, players, but yeah. Uh, Dupre here. Simone Dupre. We'll go ahead and give offer him a contract. We have like 14, 15 million in contract space, so I'll give him uh, 5 million flat because I think we can outbid Arizona on him there. Uh, 4.25 for 5. Well, he wants 4.25. I'll give him 5. Hopefully, that's enough for him to accept it. We'll see what it is. We'll go ahead and advance a day. They want to give us... The Kings want to give us their upcoming first-round pick for Alex Mart Alec Martinez. So, this is kind of one of those trades that would have happened uh, before the expansion draft, but it's now going to happen after the expansion draft. I'm going to decline the trade just because I'm going to keep Alec Martinez around because why not? Uh, but we're going to go ahead and advance a day until they get back to us. Um, so it is going to take longer for the top-end free agents. They're going to wait all their options. Um, it's taking them forever to answer us. He, Kevin Shattenkirk accepted our offer, so cash gen consideration was the most generous. And Dupre. So we do have quite a few defensemen now, boys. I will go ahead and it's advance the next season. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, and the Blackhawks... Okay, I'll get Blackhawks round two. For Coburn, I'll, I think, I mean, I'll, let me go check out Coburn. I don't really know a ton about him. Oh my God, I get how this works. Thank you. I've done this once or twice. Um, yeah, he's 32. If I could get a second for him, that's pretty nice to get next year's second uh, for him. Besides, we just signed two defensemen, so he's kind of irrelevant. Edmonton Oilers, round two for, yeah, I'm going to decline that just because he's on a nice contract. He's on an expiring contract. Um, so we can make a decision with him at the end of the year, but it, again, like I said, it doesn't matter, but it's kind of nice to see them actually want to offer you trades. Clark MacArthur for a third. I'm going to decline that, boys. I might have to decline a lot of trades, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip it ahead for you guys, and I'll see you at the start of next season. All right, boys, I am back. We are at the start of next season, and uh, before the upcoming season starts, would you like to perform roster moves and assign captains? That's kind of nice a feature, so I can hit set captains because... Uh, I'm a brand new team, so I guess Sammy Votnin is going to be our captain. Uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter to me. I don't think anyone's getting slighted. I don't think anyone's going to be pissed off. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. And now we're going to go hit edit lines, and I can show you guys what the lines are. So, yes, I'm going to keep the assistant coach off just because it doesn't really matter. We don't uh, have a ton of players, you know, depth-wise. So our center depth, is, I might want to look to flip some of those picks, or we're just build through the draft, you know. Uh, and then now we'll go down to defense. It's kind of weird because our defense is actually stacked. We've got Kevin Shattenkirk playing here on the third defensive pairing behind Ekholm, Martinez, Vatanen, and Myers, and then Shattenkirk and Dupre. So we have a lot of defensemen. So I could essentially trade some of those guys like Seidenberg as well. Uh, he's on a very, very nice deal. I know that deal quite well. Uh, but he's on a very nice deal that we could flip maybe for some more center depth. 
and that would be pretty cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out our goalies as well. So this is pretty much all the same, Neuwirth and Ward. Extras here, yeah, so these are the same as usual. I do like this. I do like, it's going to get a, take a second to you, get used to going up and down, uh, but I'm okay with that just because I think it's quicker and it's kind of nice to see everything that's available in the AHL here. We've got Emile Poirier and then a whole bunch of hey, iffy guys. Ryan Johansson, just kidding, Robin Johansson. Anyway, um, but that is all we have for this one. I'm going to go ahead and, yep, there we are. That's kind of, that's actually really cool. That's a really cool way to do the uh, game head-to-head -head now. That's, I, I think it's very great presentation. NHL standings, we're in the Central Division, boys, so that makes it going to make our life even worse. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and show you. We were slotted in the Central Division. Um, in the in the Pacific Division, we still have the Vegas Golden Knights. So there's eight and eight in the Atlantic. We have those eight teams, and then in the Metro, we have those eight teams as well. So again, we've got a perfectly balanced league. So they just slot you in the Central Division, and I think that doesn't matter where you go. You could start your team off in Barcelona or Helsinki, um, and you will be playing in the Central Division no matter what. So. That is it, guys. That is all the time I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really excited for some NHL 18 content to come out on my channel. I hope you are, too. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you in the next one.